everyone. Welcome to Pinky's fourth voice recital. The theme of her recital this time is looking into who we are being through the medium of music. And before we start our Q&A session, I would like to introduce you, Chan Zhongxing. He is the accompanist for Pinky's recital today. And of course, not to forget our prima donna today, Pinky. Hello. I want to ask, why do you set the theme as looking into who we are being through the medium of music for this term's recital? I should have thought this question was coming. In the past several weeks, uh, as uh, the things or the skills that uh, we run through in the music school become more advanced, uh, I feel like it's uh, always pushing me every week, every lesson to get out of my comfort zone, to be, um, to just not, not do things that are is very comfortable, but instead uh, do the things that, that is very uncomfortable, very challenging, but uh, end of the day, when you go back, you feel like, oh, it's, it's a small breakthrough. Mm. So, um, and then when you said recital is coming, this give me a theme. Mm. Uh, I thought uh, it, it, will be, it will be built around this, uh, this kind of meaning. Mm. So, um, hopefully, as we move on, uh, I, I can uh, challenge myself further and become the person that I really want to be. So, you have mentioned challenge for a few times. So, may I know what is the exact challenge that you made and how did you actually cope with that because i know that your schedule for this term is quite busy uh the jamie is here pushing and pushing and uh, i would like to know how you actually cope that wow it's very interesting you pushed me until i forgot that uh <laughs> saturday is i thought friday was a I thought Saturday was a Friday and then this pianist arrived at my house while I was cooking chow fan. So that was really a push. But I have to say uh, one thing to thank you. Because initially when I saw my schedule every day is full, I told you can I postpone the recital to early September in which uh, you, you really stood on your ground and said no, stick it to that day. And I'm so glad because uh, you see, now I'm free already to do the things I want to do. Mm. But if I keep it to September, now I'll still be thinking about recital work. So I have to say thank you very much. You're for welcome. You standing <laughs> your ground. And how did I cope? I realized that uh, when you are pushed to the wall with time, uh, you, uh, you can really um, do away with things that are not so need your immediate uh, attention. Mm. So I did all that. I changed uh, my lifestyle play less golf, do less laundry. <laughs> so you mean you prioritize your uh, yes. work? Yes, so sort of, uh, yeah, mm. like that. So in the past few Q&A sessions, I always ask you what's your next goal. So why not we talk about your achievement that you made in Term 4? Okay. Term 4, I really feel very uh, satisfied as uh, uh, not, not only as a student of a voice or music, but as a person in general, because I, maybe it's because of the recital, maybe it's because the things we do in the whole term, it's like a, every tiny little bit every week helps to build into a mountain of, uh, of uh, knowledge, skills. And with knowledge and skills, you become more confident. And with confidence, you write on it and become something else. Mm. So, so yes, it's a it's a very uh, fruitful term. Yeah. So because I know that you actually won the second prize for the most recent competition yes. that you joined, yes. and also you went through a few auditions and you just made through one for the yes. Evita, which was your dream, which which was your yes. hope My in, list. in term one. Yes. Uh, so I think with confidence, I think it's, it will be it will be very sweet. It will be very nice if I can, if I can uh, succeed in an audition for even like a musical like Evita, which I he hear that in next year you might have an audition. Yeah, definitely I would like to go for things like that. Uh, finally, uh, I'm looking forward to Evita, which will uh, the work can start now. The show is in December. I'm looking forward uh, to it because uh, I've never worked with 
it's a dream I heard for most singers to sing with live orchestra. So this is my chance. Uh, they say they're going to teach us a lot of dancing, mm. South American. So I'm looking forward to that because uh, I really want to improve my dance skills. And uh, it's going to be at KL Pack. Imagine this. Mm. And I heard it will also be assessed by the uh, Bo Cameronian Award. Oh, is it? So yeah, it, oh, okay. it, it, you know, it's a big. So it's a, to me, it's a chance of a lifetime because I started the singing journey as a hobbyist, but I'm going to KL Pack. Today, you will see Mr. Chan Zhongxing here is because uh, he is the accompanist of Pinky's voice recital today. we are doing this is because I always want to impart my knowledge as a soloist, as a conductor, to so that um, even a hobbyist can experience the process of creating music and how we uh, engage with another musician and because this is something that we don't talk enough uh, in my opinion so this is something that I want to bring to my student to set in the education about ethic and behavior when we work with other musicians. So what's the biggest takeaway learning from Zhongxing? The biggest takeaway is uh, there's a lot of body language, facial signals, including even something as simple as we take for granted as a breathing, po breathing as in breathing. Breathing point becomes such a major, how to say, you start the music, you know. So, yeah, working with a live musician is uh, certainly a new experience for me. Yeah, just, just take enough breath for you to continue. Don't, don't, don't cut short the, the note. You, should, you still need to sing, like, enough. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. But then you just, just a short breath and then keep going. Okay, so you as an accompanist, I believe uh, from your side, you also will see, you, you will have your own insight about your area of work. Uh -huh. So what do you think that uh, is lacking in the, the area that you are working, that you think you can improve from your side? So as an accompanist, I think I sometimes I have to uh, take a, a bigger role, because I'm used to just uh, playing accompaniment and not really like working with the singer. Mm. Maybe sometimes I need to have more presence and that's it, yeah. Mm. Just to play, play out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. When I'm supposed to, of course. <laughs> okay, so what about if you have a, a student who is also learning how to accompany other people? Uh -huh. So what would you suggest them uh, to like start their journey as an accompanist? Uh -huh. And what, what is your advice for this new pianist? Just uh, make sure you always listen to the person that you're accompanying. Because sometimes they do something different and you have to react really quickly, yeah. Always listen. Before the recital today, Zhongxin and I recorded a series of video in the Red Couch Challenge. So Zhongxin actually given some lecture uh, teaching new singers and also new piano companies how to accompany other people or how to sing with other companies. So if you are struggling with that, please check that video out. Besides email, where can we find you? You find me on Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> okay, yeah. so check out the link yeah, below. Check out the link, yeah. Do you have anything that you want to say to Zhongxin? Uh, no, no, you're yeah, fine. I have nothing to say because I'm very new to work, working with other companies. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, maybe next time. Mm -hmm. Do you too have anything to say to the audience? No, I, I really enjoy the experience in accompanying Pinky. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I take the opportunity to, uh, in case uh, some of you have missed the news. So Jamie has taken a life uh, coaching certification program. And um, it could be this term I benefited a lot because during singing class, she also guided me in that area. So definitely check out Jamie Ong's life coaching sessions. Uh, some of it is on YouTube. Mm. And Red Couch Challenge. Yeah, it's called the Red Couch Challenge. So if you are struggling, like me, you have insecurities, uh, used to have a lot of self-doubts, uh, goal-setting issues, please check out Jamie Ong. Or if you have no issue at all, but you want to create more abundance, you can also check out my website or direct email to me. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next term. Thank you. Bye-bye.